have been forced to leave their homes in Wembley after flash flooding left some roads under one metre of flood water. Firefighters were called to rescue residents who claim nearby construction work had already blocked a pipe, which was made worse by last night's heavy downpour. Anila Dami reports. Flows film an unlikely August sight. Flash floods from heavy rain, knee deep, trapping one man in a van near Stonebridge Station, and 19 people were led to safety yesterday as 40 firefighters and six fire engines dealt with the downpour for around six hours. Today, it's clean-up day for Deepak and his family on Tokington Avenue. There is overflow, massive water, and all over here. Three, four hours continue. We have already lost our uh, washing machine. Locals believe construction work exacerbated the flooding. We guess the advance of the construction because they all covered the advance canals. I think they put it only the one five something. That is not enough water to be going through our isn't it? Well, through there is Deepak's house. To the right of me is a stream. And then here you can see the construction site. So you can see the close proximity between them. Residents believe that there's a blockage between the stream and the river in the pipes caused by the construction site. There used to be sort of a creek going through their, um, their site. We think that somehow with the work they blocked it and um, we think that that's what caused the, the, the flooding. Water still being pumped as we talk to local businessman Jonathan whose car park was flooded. We seen this for the first time about two weeks ago when there was some major rain but it wasn't as severe as yesterday. Yesterday the water arrived all the way to the building um, and flooded really the car park, the streets around. Those affected were taken to Brent Civic Centre and had the option of staying in a hotel. Residents had been given some pre-warning. Last Saturday we were giving sandbags, we were told that uh, they are aware that if it will start raining again we will get flooded again uh, and this is at least what they can do for us. On the 1st of August, the council warned residents they may notice more noise outside as passageways are dug to make more space for the water to flow away again. Uh, uh, identifying the issues uh, and working with the owners of the site and working with the environment agency to actually identify what the actual blockage is. The environment agency says they're talking to the owner of the land adjacent to Wembley Brook to investigate the cause of the flooding. We reached out to the construction company who'd been on the site for the last few months but have had no response. Brent Council says they're working with others to bolster preventative measures ahead of more rain forecasts this weekend, as residents fear more floods. Anila Dami, ITV News.